Well, the, so the menstrual cycle is an important part of a woman's life as it also determines how healthy she is. It's of importance to note that it is not the same for every woman as it re relates to several health issues in women composition. However, joining us today, this is the founder, My Flair Menstrual Tracker app. That's Mr. Oluwa Shil Fadiora. And also, we have a public physician, uh, Yemi Adeyemi. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Morning. You can call us on 070-806-68014. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag YobiTVC so we can read your tweets. Before we bring you on, I think we have a, somebody wanted to call in concerning our previous topic. Chief Odunto, are you there? I know, yes, I'm here. Thanks for calling. I know you wanted to say something about um, the previous topic. Go ahead, please. Go ahead, you're live. Hello, yes. Good morning. Good morning, yes. Good morning. Yes, um, I think it is a good thing to give back to our alma mater. I went to my old famous school, okay. and the Australian, the, 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 the current first Australian association in Nigeria, it was founded by the late Reverend Ivan Wenton Koti, that's Yemen Kampala, who was our president in those days. 90% of the buildings in the new site, the new site in 1996, 90% of the buildings were built by those students. Hello? We're having issues with the network. I think we couldn't hear you properly. Okay, welcome to the show. Morning. Um, so when we heard about this app, we are excited, saying, okay, because we've seen a lot of foreign apps, but it's good to know that Nigerians are doing theirs. So tell us about why this app was created in the first place. Okay, um, good morning, everybody. Mm. My name is Oluwa Sheo Fadira, and this is my are you colleague. A oh, no, I'm not a doctor. Because I'm wondering, you're a man <laughs> and you've created this. <laughs> so I, I get that all the time that how come is a man that has decided to create a menstrual tracker app? And I think it has to do more with how I grew up. Okay. I grew up with a lot of women around me, and okay. it's been like that even up till now. So we thought of the menstrual tracker app because, like you said, most of the tracker apps that people use in Nigeria are foreign. In fact, there's none that is strictly Nigerian or even African. So we thought about it that it's good for us to create content that is valid for the Nigerian situation. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the way menstrual issues you know, happen with women, the lack of information, the inability in some cases for women to be able to remember when their period would start. So we actually did a survey when we were going to start this and we realized that some women do forget when their period will start. Some women have irregular menstrual cycles. And so we decided, okay, let's put something together that will be able to, you know, help women to track that locally, provide local content as well. And then we also included a little bit of tech into it so we have machine learning that actually helps women to for those who don't know when their cycle so you have the number of days you're supposed to bleed in the month you have the total cycle days and all that we decided that with machine learning and with technology we'll be able to help women better, better predict when their periods mm. would start. I think this is a good thing because I remember growing up I always had this um, after we were taught in school on how to calculate the period I always had this my diary where you see me I will write one I'll do brackets I'll write days you know I keep I always have that diary and anytime I forget that diary I'm more like confused and now that we have moved to the era of yeah, uh, online and uh, social media it's very easy to have all of your apps in one place so you yes, can definitely. quickly organize yourself now when you get this app does it help you calculate when you're, let's take for instance, you have irregular periods. So are you able to now follow through to when next or just find a way to understand your period better? Because we have a lot of women who don't even know, they don't understand how they are, it's, it's so irregular that sometimes it comes, it lasts just three days, sometimes it comes, it lasts seven days, sometimes the dates are changing so fast. So will it help you more like organize your period for you? What does it do exactly? Uh, while you are answering, before you answer, one, we will also tell you when you are fertile. Okay, so there are a lot of issues around it. The medical side, I'll leave for her to answer. Okay. For the upside, part of what we're trying to do to answer your question directly is that when you're signing up, the app is free, you can download it. When you're signing up, you can impute your data. Now, in a lot of cases, some women don't even know what their normal cycle days are. 
but on average, you bleed for about five days, and then the total cycle length is 28 days. So what the app does is, even if you're not sure, as at the time you're signing up, okay. you leave it. And then over the next three months, the app has a way. So you notice that when you look at your devices in the morning, you see a pop-up notification. So there's a pop-up notification that comes and asks you on the days that it feels based on the initial data that you've imputed. You will then okay. ask you. Why, why are you involved in this project? Um, one, I'm passionate about it. Um, when he spoke to me about it, I was interested because I meet a lot of women who don't even know how to calculate their menstrual cycle. They don't even know what a normal length is. Um, some of them, like she said, some people see it this um, month, they see it maybe bleed for three days the next month. They don't know what is normal. So they can't even say something is abnormal. And a woman doesn't notice the abnormality in her period until when she's ready to give birth. And then she knows, oh, I'm not getting pregnant. Then she starts to ask questions, OK, what's wrong with my period? But the period is the mirror to a woman's fertility. Mm. Now, if you know your period very well, you very much know your fertile period. And that's where the ovulation period comes into place. With a good cycle length, you can, and, <coughs> and knowing your cycle, you can predict when you'll be fertile. But if you don't even know it, how would you predict? You're leaving it to chance. So usually when people come and they have fertility issues, then we start to ask them questions like, how is your menstrual period? Then they start to figure out that. Um, I, I'm not sure I know. Mm -hmm. So when he came and we discussed about the app, I was excited because this is another way. I, I, I had used, I mean, I've used uh, an app, not this mm -hmm. one, obviously, but I, back then to monitor. That's how I used to know when it was fertile. <laughs> and I said, oh, God, yeah, well, I don't fertile. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's make this thing happen. You know, but... Um, it's very useful. But what, what, what I found that was a bit different about yours, what I read, was that you also plan to donate or give pampers, or no, not pampers, diapers. Oh, Sanitary pads. pads. Yeah. Gosh, the pampers <laughs> in my head, diapers in my head. Yeah. No, you also yeah. have a baby. <laughs> so you, you actually plan to give out um, pads mm. to mothers. Why is that? Where, where did that come from? Okay, so um, part of the things, so growing up, this is actually personal to me. Growing up, I had a cousin that was living with me, and on one of those days, I was talking to her, and she was, it was a period, and she was using tissue paper. Mm. And she said that she couldn't afford to buy sanitary pads, and I was like, okay, tissue paper, it was really strange. So I gave her money at the time, mm. and then I realized that even though right now a lot of people are doing it, but I thought about it that, yeah, this is what we sell. So a percentage of what we sell will go into this from our own end. Mm. Now, one of the things we're also trying to do with the app is I also met a lady who works in a bank and said, oh, she would love to do stuff like that, but... You're she just meeting ladies. <laughs> <laughs> you are expecting this guy. Are you married? <laughs> I am married. I have two boys. <laughs> I <laughs> ask you, I, 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 your wife, I will ask you a question. <laughs> <laughs> this lady, so lady, I, lady. I, 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 don't, I, I have a lot of them as friends, even from mm. the university days mm. and all that. So she told me that she didn't she couldn't do it on a regular basis even though she wanted to so i thought about it that since we're doing do this she couldn't do. donate oh, okay. so i thought about it that since we're already doing an app that helps women to track their period and we could do stuff like that so i said okay you know what why don't we integrate the donation part to it so for everybody that wants to donate you donate is automatic it removes the charge if you want to donate on a monthly basis quarterly basis or even one off Pads so once to so you can actually donate pads or you can donate cash so if you do that on the app it's automatic and then at the end of the day there's uh, a menstrual et et uh, Okay, we have, there's, an, there's a Nigerian coalition of menstrual hygiene management yes. um, where we have people who are advocates for period poverty. We have a group, so we usually go to schools and we give them sanitary pads. But we are quite limited because we're doing this off of our own desires. Mm -hmm. So apps like EARS would help us to reach out to more people and on a continuous basis mm -hmm. because if we give the children the, um, the sanitary pad this month, they have to look for another source next month. Mm -hmm. But with something like <coughs> this, we can say, okay, we have this amount of money monthly, let's allocate this to this number of schools mm -hmm. every month. So, so who's your target audience? What are you appealing to those mm -hmm. teenagers? <laughs> <laughs> are you appealing to younger people that have no idea of what their menstrual cycle teenagers is all about or, or teenagers? Are you, what, what's the age range you're trying to capture? Okay, so the, the people we're trying to appeal to, funny enough, you think it's just teenagers that will have mm -hmm. such issues. Mm -hmm. But you'll be surprised, like she mentioned, when it's time to have kids, 
is when you realize the importance of your period. And a lot of women will tell you that, oh, I, I, I don't even know when, yeah. I just know it comes. Yeah, so true. part of the things I realized during one of the different uh, surveys we did is a lady said that the way she knows her period is about to start is that she starts feeling pains yeah. in her leg. Yeah. And I'm like, how do you, Live your life, your period, yeah. to waiting for pain, waiting in, your for pain yeah, in your I mean, leg. Yeah, I guess I can, I can relate because I actually used this thing for like almost two years. For, mm -hmm. when, when I, after I got married, they are not there, but I was she using was consistently. Wow. Knew when I was fertile. Wow. I knew when it was time to was safe with not to. So, so I was very, I, I, I was very, very good with it. But what I would like to ask you finally is, is your own app? And please don't mention the name of the app because I don't want no, to highlight. No, is it foolproof such that anybody can easily understand it? Because sometimes it can look complicated. There's so many numbers, figures. Is it easy? Is it user friendly? So the truthful answer is this: is there's nothing that is foolproof. Mm -hmm. But what we're trying to do is we're incorporating machine learning on the tech side to be able to predict it at a better rate. So based on the information you impute will then be, for example, women, for instance, even for those who use the app, they will remember to put when the period starts. Mm -hmm. They don't remember to put when the period ends. Yeah, so. so that in itself is going to create an imbalance and an issue for you. So one of the things we're doing, this is on the back end, you use machine learning to be able to predict it and force people to impute okay. that data so it makes it better. Okay, let me take this call. Good morning, are you there, Wumi? Hello. Thanks for calling, go ahead, please. I Hello. can't hear you. Mom, go ahead, please. You're live. Hello? You're live. Go ahead, please. Hello? We can hear you. <laughs> all right, yeah, I so I, I heard um, there's like a blog as well where people can come together, women can come together and share what they are going through. How does that work? So? Okay, so on the app, we have a blog, and I think what you're trying to refer to is the forum. Yeah. So there's a forum where if you have issues, you can actually go post a topic. And when you post the topic, other women who are on the platform will be able to look at yeah. you and say, oh, I've experienced mm -hmm. that before. Mm -hmm. So for example, if you have sudden heavy bleeding, you may be panicky. And then you think, OK, maybe it's just me. And then you post it there, and somebody says, oh, no, it's not an issue. I've had it before. Okay. I had to see a guy in the college. So the community. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so it's a community. The well, blog. unfortunately, that's all we can say. But I think, I think it's a good thing. Thank you so uh, I much. I think it's going to help a lot of Nigerian women. It's always good to support when Nigerians are doing their own versions yeah, of things right. many people use internationally. So it's a good thing. We just support you the best we can. Thank and you so hope much. people can actually use your product.